Hi, I'm Iko Kumagai from Bitair. We provide data center service in Japan. And we also provide cloud service and just started OpenStack, hosted private cloud service based on canonical OpenStack. So today I will be talking about our POC that is open source hyperconverged infrastructure using 40 gig network. Just to let you know, this does not have anything to do with the private cloud service. So these are our needs for hyper-converged infrastructure. Structured as simple as possible, deploying as rapid as possible, managing inter integrated as much as possible flex flexible scalability. These days, a lot of vendors provide hyper-converged infrastructure product, but but what I want is not a special server and product, which most of the takes too long and cost too much. So we want to build this infrastructure with the commodity servers. Three. The basic structure, yeah, the network device is one forty gig network for all service and the one one gig network for IPMI. And the OpenStack nodes, one control node and network node. And the five compute node and storage nodes with deployment node, Juju and mass server. that uh, mm, the hypervisor and safe components are both in one server. It scale up when you add one more server. The, yeah, the compute and storage server looks like the commodity one, except we use PCIe SSD in safe cluster. About the network device, we adapted Melanox product to use 40 gig network. And uh, for the development, we use Juju and Mass. We installed OS and set devices with the local charm. And for deploying other OpenStack components, we picked from charm store. So here's the result of the performance test. This, yeah, this is what we tested. Firstly, we checked network performance between VM to VM in each physical node, and each physical node has 1 to 16 VM. Yeah, we've done this test in two types. One has VXLAN offload on and the other one doesn't. Obviously, you can see that is much bigger with VXLAN offload on. The biggest result we get was when 8VM interacted. That was 31.43 in total. As you see right here, when 16VM interacted, the bandwidth decreased to 24.63. It might have been too dense for this time of spec. As you see, the bandwidth gradually goes down in average. The secondary, we checked IOPS performance. We checked when one, two, or four VM in each four physical nodes interacted. In this test, we tried these four ways, sequential read, sequential write, the random read, and random write. The, this one on the above shows the total, and one on the bottom shows the average. 
The result looks almost the same as the network performance test. Total IOPS increases as the number of VM increases, and the average decreases along with the number of VM increases. So in total, when it leads, the highest goes up to 60,000 IOPS, and when it light, it goes up to 30,000 IOPS. Depending on how you use this infra, it might meet your needs. So, but still, but still, we think we can use the 40 gigabit network more effectively. To improve network performance, we are going to use DPDK so that it reduces network function cost of Linux kernel. And we are going to use safe RDMA for performance improvement of safe I.O. to enable direct memory access over Ethernet for storage cluster. So this is our best hyperconverged infrastructure for now. And I am looking forward to talking about the result of next to you. Yes, oh, sorry. Thank you.